as a creative, when you're on your journey to becoming successful or on just your journey in general, there's a lot of things that you need to learn. I know for me, I have a lot of stuff that I need to learn in terms of the business side of my craft. And then there's also a lot of things that I need to learn on the creative side of my craft. Either way, uh, one of the biggest things is being willing to learn. What's up, everybody? I'm back with another episode. In this episode, we're going to talk about the so-called secrets when it comes to pursuing a creative life and a creative career, not only pursuing it, but really more like becoming successful and what those secrets are. So in recent times, I found that there's a lot of creatives and a lot of people that is at a higher level in their journey or far along in their journey uh, is willing to help. And then on the other hand, there is a lot of individuals who would rather just sell you the information and that's okay. I think that you should always educate yourself uh, about whatever it is that you want to be involved in. You should educate yourself about the business side. You should educate yourself about the creative side. I find that a lot of people sort of make it seem like, oh, there is this grand secret that you need to know in order for you to be successful. And when it comes to being a creative, uh, I tend to disagree with a lot of it. There is such a rush to per se sell you this secret. So whether it be like, oh, if you join my course, then you're going to be successful or, you know, I could give you all the secrets you need to be successful as a filmmaker or as, as an artist or anything of that sort. And so I would like to share the things that I've learned so far in terms of secrets. Rule number one that I've learned about independent creative success. There are no real rules as a independent creator. Yes, there are proven formulas that could help you to get a certain result, but they aren't necessarily rules. I feel like a lot of times we as creatives, especially when we're independent, we actually put these rules or we think, oh, there's these rules I need to follow. And, you know, that is the only thing that's going to make me successful at what I do. But to me, overall, there isn't any real rules. A lot of the stuff that we think are rules or we think we need to do in order to become successful is actually self-imposed. And when I say self-imposed, I mean, it's us in our own mind putting up barriers for ourselves and thinking, oh, well, in order for me to get to this level, um, I need to have the best camera or I need to have this lens or I need to have, you know, this person in my network and in my circle. And I find that that's not really the case. When you think about success in your journey, in fact, there is formulas that could help you to get a certain result. But the bigger part of that per se rule or secret is the formula does not work for everyone. It just depends on what you're trying to achieve and what you're trying to do. Now, if you're looking at another creative or another artist or just another business person and you're like, oh, I want to be successful like that person, you might study their life and lifestyle you know, but I would say you'll find that whatever formula that they have might not be the same formula that is required of you. When it comes to the tools for success or when it comes to, you know, uh, creating a successful business um, out of your creativity or out of your art, it really should be about you and what you bring to the table naturally. The tools are there for you to use to enhance your work or to say exactly what you would like to say when you're creating. 
But at the end of the day, whatever you're saying should be more important than whatever tools you're using. I find that it doesn't matter how much I change my camera, you know, or how much I change my lens, you know, if it's not fitting for the story that I'm trying to tell, then it's completely useless. And there's nothing wrong with having self-imposed guidelines, you know, but at the end of the day, don't make it be your end all be all. So go out, learn your craft, learn the business, but do not place rules, these definite rules on yourself as a creative. At the end of the day, art is subjective. So learn the rules, rules, and you know, figure out a way how to break them. Learn techniques, learn formulas, yes, and figure out a way to use them to your best advantage. As a creative, when it comes to inspiration and being artistic, stop being confined in a space based on rules that people tell you that you need to follow in order to be successful. So at the end of the day, you have to go out and you have to go and find what works for you. And that's it. That's the bottom line. Another secret per se that I learned, and this one is strictly pertaining to filmmakers and videographers and photographers. 75% of the time, the camera you use does not matter at all. A lot of the tools that you think are completely needed is not needed at all. At the end of the day, you're telling a visual story. And when you're telling a visual story, all you need are the tools that is gonna help you to tell that story in the best way possible. If that means you have a cell phone and the cell phone is adequate enough for you to tell the story that you're trying to tell, then use your cell phone. Don't feel the need to go out and buy the most expensive camera. You are a storyteller. Don't let, because you don't have a certain camera or a certain piece of equipment, you don't go and pursue what you want to pursue or you don't tell the story that you want to tell because you feel like, oh, there is rules and I have to follow this rule or th this guideline in order for me to get what I need to get when the art, again, is subjective and you could possibly use tools around you to achieve whatever look, whatever you want your story to say, how you want your story to make people feel, and which is the most important part of the whole reason why you're creating in the first place. Now, here's a real life example of what I'm talking about. There was one point where I had a Canon T5i, a Rebel T5i, and I got hired to shoot at a award show. And when I went to this event, I saw that everyone had these like big expensive cameras and lens and all of that. I use my Canon, you know, in my nifty 50. And when I went to their website to look at the different photographs or what the other photographers submitted, to my surprise, there was a lot of the photos that I took that was on that site. At the end of the day, I think that when people looked at my photograph, they realized, yo, this is impactful or this made me feel a certain way or I really love the quality or whatever it is that attracted them to my set of photos. If you're telling a story, tell the story with what you have, where you are, and how you know how to do it. As your journey goes by, then you learn, you learn about better equipment, you learn about better techniques, but hands down, at the end of the day, it's about what you're trying to say or how you're trying to say through your image and your visuals, and that does not require the world's most expensive cameras or the world's most expensive equipment. 75% of the time, you can use what you have on hand and achieve the same impact or sometimes, sometimes the same quality. The next thing about this whole secret to success thing, there is no secret to success. There is no real secret to success. At the end of the day, it's hard work, it's consistency, it's learning your craft, it's doing what you need to do to be the best version of yourself possible to achieve at the highest level that you want to achieve. There is no ultimate secret to success. There's no one formula to success. Go 
do the work, be consistent, be disciplined, work hard, and get it done. That's it. I know you clicked on this video because you think, oh, I was going to reveal some big secret to success. And that is the irony of these like thumbnails and hashtags. And the truth of the matter is I'm only here to tell you the unfiltered truth about my journey and what I'm going through or what I went through. There's no real rules to follow as a creative create and put it out in the world. Those rules that you so-called have are mostly self-imposed. Third thing, 75% of the equipment and the tools that you think you may need to be successful is not always needed. A paintbrush is the same as a camera lens. Does it matter? Yeah, somewhat, but at the end of the day, it's just a tool to get you to the end point you need to get to. When you are young and you're independent and you're creative and you're broke, depend on your sense of storytelling, depend on your sense of sharing something of value where you are with what you have and how you know how to do it best in spite of any per se tools or rules or formula that you so-called need. There is none. There's no real secret. Now, my last big point in this video is for the people that we call, or I call, the gatekeepers. Creatives, listen to me and listen to me clearly. If you're a creative and you're in or at a certain level in your career, it is completely fine for you to take on another creative and mentor that person. And it's completely fine to give other people access to information that you did not have once or that you had to go and work hard for and get that information. It is completely fine. At the end of the day, there is enough space, there's enough creativity, there is enough opportunity. If it's about money, there is enough money that is out in the world for everyone to have a slice of the pie. To any creative that is out there, if you see me on the internet, or you see me in real life, or you see me working on a project, and you want to know certain information or certain techniques, or you wanna learn anything, feel free to reach out to me. I will give you whatever information I have or whatever way I know how to do things, I will let you know because I genuinely don't believe in gatekeeping information that will help someone improve, especially in the creative field. As usual, subscribe, 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 I'm out.